Hey guys, what's up? I'm the Hippo and welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to take a second look at Operation Health and why I think it is the best decision that Ubisoft could have ever made. Um, let's get started straight off, guys. Um, in my opinion, like I just said, Ubisoft made the best decision that they've ever made of Rainbow Six Siege is by adding Operation Health. And this is why. First off, Operation Health is going to be about a three month process where Ubisoft will put all of their devs, every single one of their devs, on board to fix the game. The map creators will be, will be handling spawn peaking. We all know that they're working on spawn peaking to stop people from dying instantaneously as soon as they spawn. They're going to stop that. Uh, they're also going to work on the maps, just make it more balanced, I think. All the game devs, of course, all of their attention will be focused on the game. None of their focus will be on any DLCs, any DLCs at all. They'll be fully focusing on the health of the game, which is just amazing. Because for a player like me, I love Rainbow Six Siege. It is really a passion of mine, and it really is an addiction of mine. I just cannot stop playing this game. So this is why it is so important for me for you, Ubisoft to actually do Operation Health because I could definitely see this game having a life cycle of up to 5 years. I would definitely be able to see that and I would not mind that at all. Imagine this, a, a game lasting 5 years of DLC. That's not even, it's like full life cycle it might even go on to have like a full seven year life cycle even if the dlc stopped at f at five because this game has such a steep learning curve and if they do up to five years of free dlcs then well there's gonna be a lot of things to learn and it's gonna take about seven years in total so having a game with a life ci life cycle over or a lifetime of about 7 years that's insanity i have never heard of any game with a life cycle as long and as big as that um so i really do hope and i really do think that ubisoft will actually make operation health a huge success and just fix the game where it needs fixing and also buff we buff what needs buffed and nerf what needs nerfed so, um, let's get started on what was said uh, at the Pro League Finals for you who didn't know. Basically, I'm going to make a big statement, which is probably one of the biggest statements I've ever made. I might, be, I might end up being wrong on this, but if I'm not, I kind of told you so. So, I promise you, there will be a year 3 of DLC for Rainbow Six Siege. And there might be a year 4, or there might even be a year five but i promise you and i am pretty damn sure that there's uh, there's gonna be a year three season pass there will be year three content that's for free as it's been every single year now it's already in year two and this is why at the rainbow six siege pro league finals some of the devs said big statements which kind of led me to thinking this they kind of indirectly admitted that year three is is being is happening so this is what they said this is one of the only things they said one of the lightest statements that they said is we want to improve the health of the game for years to come so they basically just said or this specific dev said he wants or they want to improve the game for years to come nothing big he just admits that they want to improve the game okay but the next statement is pretty bigger it says Rainbow Six Siege devs wants to establish the health of Rainbow Six Siege now, so it could be up to five years or more. So he legit just said they want to establish the health of the game so it is fluently and it is good and working and in perfect condition, so that it could be up to year five in DLC or in the game's life cycle. So that basically also confirms that there's going to be a lot of DLC coming in the future. Another big statement that was said is we need to do Operation Health if we want the game to go into year 3, 4 or 5, seeing as the player base is still growing. 
So, a total of three devs said things that leads us to think that year three is happening and year four and maybe even year five. So I definitely do think and like I said I promise you guys that year three will be happening in Rainbow Six Siege. Here's my opinion about this. Why would you fix the game now if the game is going to end in DLC within like six months because the year's almost in the half in, in the half. So why would they want to fix it now for a total of three months? continuously working on fixing the game if it's just gonna end in any way in like two seasons that doesn't make sense to me and here's a comparison that one of the other devs did and it was actually one of the best comparisons that i've actually seen operation health is like stopping a car and fixing it all this time we've been driving a car and fixing it as we go so they've been fixing smaller bugs and minor things to the game while pumping out DLC, which is extremely hard because they release all of these content on all of these uh, codes into the game that it's so hard to find what's the cause of the problem. So they will take a full three months, stop the car like he said, completely stop the car, fix the car while it stopped, meaning all of the people could put the attention on it, and then the car will run fluently again, and then the car could just start again, meaning DLCs would come again. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. I just wanted to bring up this and actually kind of show you guys that Year 3 in Rainbow Six Siege is definitely a possibility, and the chances, chances of it happening, in my opinion, is 100%. Because why would you fix a game this late in its life cycle if it's just gonna end within six months so yeah that's gonna be my opinion about it guys tell me down below what you think tell me are you excited about year three i definitely am you guys know i'm a rainbow six siege nut and this is my addiction i love this game thank you ubisoft for making this game i really do love this game and thank you guys for supporting this channel i really do appreciate all the support i get and you guys are legit, like always, the best subs ever. So, that's gonna be it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, tell me down below. Leave a like. Let's hit, like, maybe, like, 10 likes again. Let's try again. Come on, 10 likes, people. I'm sure we can do it. Please just like this video. Take a moment of your time. I really do appreciate all the likes and comments I get. Drop a sub if you are interested in more Rainbow Six Siege content. And I will see you in the next video.